Hello, welcome, welcome, gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmara coming to you with 100 Miracles in 100 Days project and the fifth dimension activation and effortless manifesting quickie. We're at Miracle 48. And if you just landed here today, we do recommend you go back and listen to the very first Effortless Manifesting and Awareness Activation early December. And that you just breathe and listen. And if anything comes up, was irritated by my chitty chatter and just keep breathing because that's something releasing in you because there is high powered source codes embedded in my voice to help you release everything that's out of alignment with your pure God source being of light within. So let us begin by just taking few long or as long as you can deep as deep as you can breaths within big belly breaths in through the nose out through the mouth and if for whatever reason you can't breathe just focus focus on the breath because the point of the exercise is to get you to bring your awareness within. Do this several times. And when you're ready and can feel your awareness within, just return your breath to in through the nose and out through the nose. And we're at Miracle 48. I'm going to make it a quickie today because I want to return to some really in-depth work I'm doing in the higher dimensions of light. But to begin with, we'll just do the first step of my fifth dimension activation. So please imagine that you're standing outside barefoot on Mother Earth facing the sun in a first early morning sun. If you can stand barefoot outside facing the sun, that's great, but if it's snowing where you are all night time, then just imagine you're doing it in the morning. And probably don't get in the habit of doing it at night time, because once you get really connected, it may keep you awake at night. So try to imagine doing this in the morning if you can. And you're just going to bring your awareness into your hands by breathing into your fingers and hands and breathing out. And then breathe in. Raise your hands up, point them to the sun, breathe out and tie the energy from your fingertips around the sun. Then you're just going to breathe in, draw all of the energy down from the sun. As soon as it hits your crown, you're going to breathe out all of that gorgeous source light from the sun into the 100 trillion cells and 100 trillion telomeres. Take the last 5% of that energy down and into the core of Mother Earth. And then 
after you've tied that energy around the Mother Earth, just bring some gorgeous golden light from the core of Mother Earth all the way back up. And breathe it out into your body and take the last 5% up to the sun. And then again, breathing that gorgeous source light down from the sun. Breathe it out into your body. Take the last 5% down into the core of Mother Earth. Wrap your energy around the big golden sun in the center of Mother Earth and bring, breathe in. Bring Earth energy back up. Breathe it out into your body. Take the last 5% up to the sun. Breathing in through the nose. Fill your whole body with this source light. Breathe it out as you're breathing it out and take the last 5% into the earth. Bring all that golden energy from the core of Mother Earth back up. Breathe it out into your body. Take the last 5% up to the sun. Now I want you to continue this breath up and down from the sun while I share today's miracle, number 48. Oh, it's at this point also that you can go. Once you're in alignment with the earth and the sun, to here is a great place to go. How can I... God, how can I manifest a new car? God, how can I manifest my soulmate? God, how can I manifest $1,000 a week, $10,000 a week? Little spider just ran over me. Now spiders represent abundance, that's interesting. <laughs> He wasn't little either, he was a great big huntsman, but anyway. Just breathe. And just ask. Ask for what you want and let it go. Because as yesterday's story on Rowan improves, you can ask for a pay rise and think you're going to get it by, you know, applying for a higher level job, but then change your mind and get the same pay rise anyway, so... Miracles are happening everywhere. And if you just continue the breath now, after you've asked for what you want, let it go. Go back to breathing in from the sun, into your body, out into earth, and then back up from earth into your body. Because it's that alignment with the earth and the sun that helps bring your manifestations or your wishes or desires to you. So today's miracle, I'm just going to make it kind of like a quickie and maybe tell the rest of it at another time, but it really is just to prove that everything, if you just follow your gut feeling, even when everyone's telling you not to, it is because Source has a plan for you, or God, Source, God, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Christ, whatever name you want to call God, whatever higher power you it is that you speak to. So... I had already followed my advice from Source to come to Queensland to live. It was at a time when COVID was hitting bad in Australia and everyone was locking down everywhere and everybody was saying to me, you'll never get in, you'll never get in. And Source just kept saying to me, yes, you will, just go. And so I start driving with no plan, leave Melbourne, um, stopped off a, on the way a couple of times but ended up in Port Macquarie which is about five hours out of Queensland and I had thought that I might stay you know, like just over the border just before Queensland and wait for them to open the borders there was talk about them opening the borders on the 12th of July and I so I went down and got all my paperwork to cross the border, got it because I was staying in an Airbnb and I went down and you know, at that stage I had to fill out four questions. After that it became these like four page documents, but and I was coming back here to retire, which I did for a few months, was bored to tears afterwards, but anyway. Um, and I had thought, I had looked up and found this place 
for $33 a night and I book for a week to stay with this guy. He comes back and says, I'm hamstruck. Well, isn't your hamstring in your leg? And he says, um, and I wrote back and said, I'm getting, and I said, what do you mean by that? And he wrote back going, I'm just too busy. I wrote back to him going, for goodness sake, I'm in my 60s. I don't need you to do anything. I just need a roof over my head for a week. And so long as you've got a place that's got a roof over your head, over my head, I can do that. You know, I, I don't need you to do anything for me. Anyway, he doesn't answer me. But as I'm going to sleep, and it's coming up for school holiday time in Queensland and New South Wales. So I say to Source, um, you do realise that I do need somewhere to sleep tomorrow night, don't you? And I just let it go and went to sleep. Got up in the morning, hadn't heard anything back from Mr. Valor. Valor is the name of a place just out of Numbucker Heads in um, New South Wales. And hadn't heard anything back from him. But I see a place in what I was calling Bonogen, Bonogen. Um, I see a place in Bonogen and it is $25 a night. So I book and pay for one whole month because that would take me up past the school holiday time. And within minutes, got a reply saying it was accepted. So that's it, going to Queensland and um, jump in the car and start driving the five hours to Queensland. And when I get there, because I've got Victorian number plates, I get channeled off into another one where I get this lovely young policeman, Darren, I think his name was, covered in tats. He goes, what's your name? What's your surname? I go, I don't have a surname, you know, no registered surname. And, you know, and he seemed, um, he goes, oh, really, another one? There's another one. He goes, oh. And he wasn't even like a lot of people, especially cops, are like, what do you mean you don't have a surname? You know, because they haven't caught up with the fact that some of us choose to do that. And this young man was like, oh, yeah, I met a guy named, once his name was John, just John, no surname, you know. And um, anyway, he's off checking my licence plate because I'm chatty, as I always am, but that's a sign apparently to them that you're hiding something. But anyway, so, and he says, what address are you going to be at? And I tell him, you know, the address I'm going to be at in Bonogen. He goes, can you spell that for me? I said, you know, Bono, as in you too, B-O-N-O, -O, gin as in the drink that you drink. And he said, oh, you mean Bonogen. <laughs> I went, yeah, that's what I mean. And then went on a bit more and I went, so obviously too young to know who Bono is and he goes oh god no my dad's a huge U2 fan and so am I so I have this awesome experience it takes about five minutes to him just taking some information down and then telling me you have to self-isolate you're not allowed to go anywhere we sometimes follow you home so don't even stop at Coles or Woolies or whatever and you can get them to send stuff in and and if you get a sniffle you have to get the hazmat team in to to take you to hospital, you can't just ring an ambulance. So it's just like, oh my God, this is so ridiculous. I said, I'm taking colloidal silver, mate, you know, like I'll be fine. And he says, I'm taking it too, but I don't think it's gonna stop this thing. I said, I think you're listening to the hype, love, it's a, it's a virus. Colloidal silver will kill a virus in six minutes, any virus. Go stand in the sun for two hours. It will kill any virus above 28 degrees. So. Anyway, he just looks at me weird and goes, off you go, remember to stay home, blah, blah. And that was it. I crossed the border and when everybody else said that I wouldn't cross the border, I also, now this is the miracle of this. As I was coming out of the self-isolation, they slammed their border shut within a few days of that, Queensland did. Nobody could get into Queensland at that time. And nobody... Um, and if you did, if you could come, if you came with valid reasons, you were picked up at the airport, bussed to a hotel and had to pay $3,000 for the two week mandatory isolation and were fed terrible food for your three grand, I believe. So, um, 
So follow, follow your gut knowing no matter what anyone else is saying. Follow your gut knowing. My gut knowing was that it was time to go. Um, well, actually, it didn't. I would have, I would, I was planning to stay in Valor. Actually, the guy from Valor comes back the following day and goes, I'm ready to accept your booking now. And he's put his price up from $33 a night to $55 a night. So he must have had a lot of people apply. And I just went, it's too late, mate. I'm in Queensland. But this is the key. If he had not knocked my booking back, I probably would have got stuck in New South Wales for two years because they didn't open their borders for two years after that. So breathe for me. You have to know that sometimes when we ask for something we want, we don't get it because there's something better there coming for us or there's something higher. And it's at that point that you must stay in the light. You must go, oh, may this or something better happen for me or can this happen for the divine good of all when you ask for something? So that, and, and, and you know, I don't remember saying, can this happen for the, when I went to sleep going, come on God, I need somewhere to sleep tomorrow night. I didn't say for the divine good of all, maybe it's because I work with the divine that they just accept that. But that is something that people usually do on the end of it. But you know, a lot of people, if you ask for what you want and it's not in your highest good, then something better comes anyway, and that's what this wonderful little story is showing you. Breathe for me, please. <clears throat> My voice is going again. So I'm going to send you so much love, and I hope that you recognise you're an infinitely powerful being and you're always being taken care of. Love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings.